Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we will be discussing about SharePoint integration with MuleSoft. Uh, so we will be integrating SharePoint site with Mule4. So in order to start with it, uh, we have to first uh, make sure we are having an active SharePoint account. So for this particular use case, I will be using a trial version of SharePoint. So how to assess that? Uh, let's go with that part first. So this is microsoft.com and this is the 365 site and it is a try option uh, like you can go for uh, a try uh, one month or if you already have a 365 version you can make use of that okay so let me show you just click over here on the SharePoint and you can you can avail the uh, trial version of it and even you can configure it on your uh, your mail id basically on your as a mobile app you can use but uh, um, just after doing all these things you should be able to log in into your sharepoint site so how it will look like it will be something uh, like this so this is just a dummy uh, site which i have created using my trial version so this is the communication site and if you go to the documents tab you will be able to see some of the stuff um, I can clean this up okay this is just dummy files which I have uh, placed over here and uh, just to show you the site can let's go to the site content here you can see there is a folder named as mule so our intention will be to create a uh, site named as mule and inside that we, we can try to uh, create some folders okay so how to create um, a um, page over here is to just click on this new and after that you can put some details okay so I'm just putting something like uh, mule This is fine, this is all fine. Um, so it is asking me to put the name of the page. So I have put down it as Mule. You can create any other page as well as per your requirements. Just put on this publish. So it will create a publish uh, page. And here you can see the page address as well. You can use this and uh, you can work on this particular link accordingly. Okay, so this was just a demo purpose and i'm again going back over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a document library okay i will name it as mule i will click on create so now if we go to the site contents we will be able to see this particular folder or uh, better to say the document library as it is uh, mentioning in the type section so now how we can use the uh, connector within the SharePoint and how to configure it there are three different ways in which a SharePoint connector can be used so in order to use the SharePoint you have to just click on this search and exchange and type SharePoint just select this one click on add it will come on to the right hand side and click on finish once it is being done uh, it will be available in the share in this particular format somewhere on the right hand side maybe you can try to uh, put it on the left hand side as we are following for the rest of the connectors and once it has been done you will able to see the multiple operations which are being available category wise some create and delete objects file move, uh, file based operations like approve or check in check out publish unpublish delete deny the permissions recycle it query publish update metadata and then folder specific like create delete and query get the metadata then listing of all the files and resolve collection and the object so there are multiple things but we are not going to create each and every flow for these operations so i will be um, touching the most important functions uh, as part of this use case so first thing first uh, 
let's create the SharePoint uh, connection. So in order to do that, just search for SharePoint and search, uh, look for SharePoint online. There are two different flavors of SharePoint available that is online and on-premise. As the name suggests, online is much more compatible with Office 365. So this is for that. And the second one is for the on-premise setup. So there is an installable available for the on-premise and you have to buy it. Uh, this uh, trial version is available for uh, online uh, version only. So just click on OK and let's see what uh, it is having for us. So it gives the option to set the connection using Okta, online or security. Okay. In this particular use case, I will be using the online version of it. Here you need to provide your username. It is ideally in the format of your work email address or and the password, the password which you have selected. The site URL will be something like this only, something uh, up to dot com. This particular thing will be the, the site URL. Okay. Apart from that, it also gives the option of using Okta. So in order to use Okta, you have to just log in to the Okta account. Let me try to do that. Let's give it a try. Uh, reason being, um, in order to integrate Okta with the, um, with the O365, it, it asks for many other details as well. So give me a moment guys. is giving me some problem let me check again don't know like um, ah but uh, basically uh, within Okta we can configure office 365 so here is a uh, ready link for that. Let me show you once. So add Office to 365. So you have to just go to the application and click on add application. Instead of searching for Microsoft Office 365 in the drop down, it will give the uh, option of SharePoint as well. Just select that one and fill all the details accordingly. You will be able to set it up. The only reason which I am not able to do it because it is looking for some paid version of it and the trial version of Octa doesn't allow uh, Office 365 um, setup. So I will not be covering Octa for now in our use case. In our use case, I will be covering the, uh, the online uh, version of it. Okay, so how it will look like? Uh, it will be something like this. SharePoint username, you have to specify the password and the URL just click on test connection it should be working fine okay now let's go back to our uh, message flow so I am assuming over here like uh, all of these uh, operations are visible to you and the first operation will be to read a particular file from our SRC main resources which will be this hello.txt and it will try to create a folder first what will be the nature of this folder I will be sending those uh, parameters from the query param URL uh, element. I will log something and then I will try to uh, add the file. In the file it will, uh, I need to give the path. So hello.txt will be the file and the content will be this read file content. And after that file needs to be check in. So same path, then major check in, then the message will be the commit. Then I'm going to publish the file. The file published with the comment file published and there is a logger and finally there is a set payload just to give a return back onto the postman like file uploaded successfully to the SharePoint. Okay. So let's give it a try. I'm running this application and let me configure my 
SharePoint as well. So SharePoint upload file and this is the path which I am going to use. Capital Mule and Capital Test folder will be first created and after that it will be uh, the file should be available to uh, for us. Okay. So Capital Mule uh, document library folder is already available to us. If I go inside this, there is nothing over here. Okay. So I will uh, remain on this site and will wait for Anypoint Studio to get deployed. Now it's up and running. So let's hit it from the send button SharePoint. Uh, let's see how it responds back. It's taking some time, maybe uploading the file, but uh, it is giving me error like it is not being checked out. Let's see. So test folder is being created. Let's go inside and this hello.txt is being uh, created and let's see the status of it. So here you can see the content of it like hello world and uh, this is being the same file which we have put down over there hello world okay now it errored out at a particular point so let's try to um, so it is giving me error reason being it says in order to check in we have to first check it out okay so file is being added and let's check out the file first and then we will try to check in okay I will be using the same parameters so basically let me try to copy paste this stuff I will save this and I will check with the file check in once again so server relative URL that's absolutely fine let's put a logger as well in between this is just to show the capability of different functions okay file checked out okay file checked out just a dummy message which I am going to print uh, it should restart the app We'll wait for a couple of seconds, but let's first delete. I don't want uh, this test folder. So, so instead of deleting from here, let's try to delete from somewhere else programmatically. In this way, we can uh, cover one use case as well. So, uh, this is a folder delete. Okay, and here we are passing this slash move slash test as the URL. After the transformation message is there like file deleted and this will be the end of message. So uh, let's go over here, check the status of the application. It's deployed, clear it up, go back to the postman. This is the uh, operation. Let's hit the send button. So file deleted, let's quickly cross check. I will refresh this and it's gone okay so this is good like uh, it means uh, this delete uh, path is working absolutely fine so let's try it again with the file upload the first one that is this one uh, we'll click on the send button once again and let's see again it is giving me error like you can only publish and unpublish documents in a minor version enable list okay so this is this is the uh, good way of doing it right uh, so uh, what we need to do so i will go to the library settings quickly and let me show you what exactly it is mentioning okay so major minor version it is looking for and 500 I will click on OK let's clear up the folder once again file deleted I will make sure like uh, it is good so let me go to the mule tab it's all good let me hit it again onto the upload file let's click on the send button 
so now file is uploaded successfully to the SharePoint okay now let's quickly check so this file is being there and this is the same content right so in this way uh, what we have covered just to let you know um, folder is being created file is being uploaded then file is being first checked out then checked in then file is being published okay so this particular flow uh, covers the basic thing when we deal with a particular file or any artifact in fact uh, if you want to put in in the SharePoint and how to delete it and how to maintain the different versions using the commit and approve and all the things right now let's check uh, this uh, file get content as well so this get content basically it will try to read uh, the uh, content of that particular file from SharePoint location itself and it will put on a logger after that there is a get metadata which will uh, give the details of this what all uh, actions have already performed on this hello.txt on the SharePoint side so it will give us that particular detail I suppose our console is already up and running let's clear it up and give it a shot from postman again So now let me maximize this and let's go from here so file content so first of all okay content is now printing the hello world that is absolutely fine after that logger this logger has printed this hello world so after that this logger is there okay now what all it is printing records are and all these particular things okay so what it is all about it is giving details like what is the measure version what is the check-in comment this file published okay guys this file published we have done from here if you see file published the same is being now printed as a part of metadata okay after that author details are coming up within the mule dick test hello txt it is putting all the details and check out types if it exists all the list the file items and all the other customized page and all the other things minor version and all that other things it is continuing if it is being logged by any way any user so all those details are being uh, so the main thing over here to look out for just look out for this particular things modified by who is the author who has checked out this particular artifact what are the versions major minor list all item fields and log by which particular user so this by using these particular get metadata you can you can further uh, align your uh, use case as per your requirement okay so this was the very pretty short version of how we can integrate with sharepoint and uh, our mule flows i hope you like this video and I would really encourage you to check out all these different options based on your uh, um, use case, your functionality which you want to implement. But um, the main things to look out for are the file and uh, file folder listing and uh, the object related things. These are very handy in handling the metadata and the uh, making a logic out of it. So guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.